did right when they were busted. You gotta be kidding me. No, and I was in trapped in Germany. I can't remember which city. <laughs> That's a big story. With Funny. them when it all all the scandal went down, and I was like trapped there. It was unbelievable. We, they were doing Vettendas. I was choreographing them for Vettendas. Oh, you were? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. That's great. Okay, Adam, so tell me, how was it to uh, do a big budget movie with a couple of children and an action hero? Uh, well, it was fantastic. I mean, um, we had a ball. I, it was, they gave me, thank God, they gave me a lot of time. They gave me a lot of days because, you know, the kids only have so, much, so many hours that they can work. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I never noticed that the budget was big because uh, I was just trying to work on getting it done. But um, the great thing was that the, the kids and Vin loved each other so much that all of the relationships in the movie are totally honest. So it, you know, if there's anything that works about it, that's what it is. So how did you get the timing so right? Because it looks so perfect in that film. Gosh, I don't know. Luck. <laughs> I don't know. I think what you do, you know, you cross your fingers and hope, and you know. Although timing, maybe I have a little advantage on my side because I was a choreographer, and so it's you know I think in terms of timing, so it's you know it's what I do. So, um, what were like the biggest steps um, leading towards this movie in your career? Like, what do you think gave you the, the best experience that you could use here? That's an interesting question. Um, I think that um, my last movie, uh, which I also did for Touchstone, I worked with um, Steve Martin and Queen Latifah, and. They trusted me so much um, in my sort of my comic voice. Um, I grew a lot as, a, as an actor, as a comedic actress director. Um, they really pr trusted me and they put that in my hands. And so when this opportunity came up, you know, I had to take one of the things that I knew to say to Vin was what you have to, what your job on this movie is to not be funny you, so that the world around you is making you crazy. Because that's what's going to be funny. It's is that if you're trying to hold on to your seriousness, and um, and also I have to say, this movie for me was modeled after the great old Disney movies of the '70s, like Now You See Him, Now You Don't, and the computer wore tennis shoes, mm -hmm. and uh, the, you know, in a weird, strange way, the Shaggy Dog, where there's action and criminals, but no guns are ever fired, and no one's ever really going to get hurt, mm -hmm. and that was to me, you know my sort of inspiration for the tone of the movie so that you can sneak across a really nice message about the importance of family and the healing um, that you can get from children um, while you're putting it in a big shiny action filled funny package you know what mm -hmm. I mean it's light entertainment it's you know it's not meant to be important it's just okay. it's just it's for people to go in and have a, a couple nice hours and enjoy themselves and laugh a lot and hopefully come out you know really loving your family. And which actor, like uh, dead or alive, would you love to work with? If that's what you dead or work? alive? Yep. Cary Grant. Okay. Cary Grant would be a great actor to work with. Um, uh, I was just watching a movie last night with Betty Hutton. She was great. I love her. I mean, I'm, I'm an old movie buff, so um, alive. There's so many ones who are alive that I would love to work with. I don't know. I think it'd be fun to do a movie with Reese Witherspoon, Cameron Diaz, because she's a very fearless comedian mm -hmm. and also can be very emotional. Um, I don't know. So, what do you think about the whole Oscar buzz? That, like you mentioned, Cary Grant, it was sure different in the old days, and yeah. now people are getting ready and the whole like beauties, uh, like uh, cosmic surgery and the spas and all that. <laughs> What's your opinion about that? Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, you know, it's like. It's become so um, overblown and serious, and uh, you know, it's really important for everybody to be recognized. But there's so many of us working in this business, and and uh, I, listen, for me, what the fun part is is you know, watching the people when they lose <laughs> because they go, their smiles start to fade. And like, I would probably say I'm the only director working now who was a dancer on the Academy Awards. So I have a unique perspective. Of it. I've been backstage. I was I was just a dancer once upon a time there. So great. Okay. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you.